Hi Pisces, getting ready to do your reading. Let's see what is going on for you. What is showing up for you? Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. All right. Pisces, okay. I've got, I try to get them yeah, all kind of going the same way. So that wasn't something that was meant for you, the distance card, but um, could be dealing with somebody at a distance. What is going on for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Oh, listen to your intuition. You're almost there. Don't lose focus. The treasure map. Something that's going to make you very happy. You're so close. There's an awareness here of something. Okay, I'm not going to take that. Oh. Some of you, I do kind of get like, be open to new places. If there's some place you're thinking about moving, go on vacation there. Go take a trip there. Communication about a distance. Follow your heart. Follow your heart seems important to me right now. So you're not listening to your heart, what your heart wants. Okay. So listen to your intuition. You're almost there. What's going on for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus Spirit? Someone may want to connect with you or you're at a crossroads, a secret crush possibly, and wanting to speak your their truth. I'm definitely getting some about traveling for you guys, but I feel like it's like moving is what I'm kind of getting. Like at a crossroads of where to move next or where to go next could be possibly what I'm picking up on. I want to use this deck. All right. What is the treasure map and the sun for Pisces? Hey man, oh, you've been waiting, waiting. Four of cups, three of cups, four of coins, death. Sun again. Justice was under the de deception. There could be something going on in the background that you don't know about, like karma or something like that happening to another person. There's something here like waiting, being, you know, hanged man, you've been waiting around for something, but you don't know it through a third party holding on death. Something is over. What does Pisces need to be aware of? Page of coin, the nine of cups, and the ace of cups, new love. So Pisces, there could be someone who has their eye on you. It could be someone who has a crush on you, crush on you, secret crush truth card for Pisces. Oh yeah, they wanna to talk to you? That combo came out for Scorpio too. Could be a Leo, could be that they're nervous, five of swords. Someone has their eye on you, but they're nervous to talk to you. Could be Leo, Scorpio's here. Sagittarius too. So maybe a fire sign. Wanting to reveal that they have feelings for you. Nine of coins, eight of cups, manifesting the truth. I feel like this person is shy. I feel like they might, they could like think you're out of their league or something like that, Pisces. But they're going to come back. So I don't know if you know you're waiting for someone. I don't know if you like don't realize this is happening in the background or what. Could be a king of wands with justice. What does that mean though? For some reason, I guess they're gonna reach out, but it kind of feels like seven of swords, the tower, the 10 of wands. Okay, they can't hold back any longer. It's like they're trying to play it cool and they just can't. Or like they're trying to ignore you, but they really, really wanna reach out. You could, you know, see this person at work or school or you don't, it doesn't need to be. They could be, they could be at a distance. There's some sort of flame desire between the two of you. This person's very, very attracted to you. They wanna talk to you. They may want to talk about the future. Something good may be happening and they want to share it with you. So, again, take it as it resonates so far. But someone around you is being stubborn and not making a move. They have a crush, though. So let's see. What is going on for Pisces? Overall energy is the lovers. The death card. Okay. See, that came up before and that was them. That wasn't you. It's was like you're waiting for them to maybe end another relationship or something. The fool. Page of Cups and the Nine of Cups. Okay. Some of you are going to get a wish fulfilled when it comes to this person. Some of you are going to be very excited with the full energy. Someone's going to finally reveal something or tell you something um, that you have, maybe you have known this. Uh, maybe you've been waiting patiently or not patiently. I don't know, for this person. Could be a Gemini or a Scorpio for some of you. We have the Six of Cups, the Judgment card, and the Six of Swords. So coming back towards you, what is this Death card in their energy? The Five of Coins, the Seven of Cups, the Wheel of Fortune, and the Moment Eight of Swords. Your person's stubborn. And Four of Swords, but maybe they're healing. Actually, maybe they're healing. I'll give them a break because maybe they ended something, another connection, and now they just kind of like don't really know what they want to do. For some reason, I'm picking up on ice cream right now. I have no idea why. Oh, it's all those cups. Maybe they're, oh, maybe they're it's depressed. Maybe this guy or girl is depressed and they've been eating a lot of ice cream <laughs> and sitting on the couch and not doing anything. Okay, what is this full energy? 
I think you've been waiting. There's going to be communication here in September, but you've been waiting for this. You may run into them as well, possibly, if that could happen. Some of you, that they're not close, so that wouldn't happen. But um, you're listening to your intuition. You've been waiting. All of a sudden, here it comes. What is the Page of Cups? Five of Cups, the King of Swords, the Knight of Swords, we do more the Knight of Wands. This combination keeps coming up in the readings. Knight of Swords and Knight of Wands. It started back in Scorpio's reading. But I feel like this person is... I feel like they kind of out of it and it's been a while and all of a sudden they're realizing, oh my gosh, I got a lot of catching up to do. I got a lot of, you know, they got to like run here, run there. They're very busy. But I feel like it has to do with you reaching out. Something about time has passed. Maybe it's passed. It's been like quite a while. I feel like something also happened in June or something that may have been significant. There may have been some messages in June. The outcome is the Nine of Cups. What is that? Nine of Coins and the Tower. First of all, I feel like someone could be getting drunk here with the Nine of Cups and the Tower. I don't know why it's coming through that way. You may see someone um, at a bar or club or something. The other thing is I feel like there's going to be a breakthrough. Again, I feel like this person has been holding this in. Maybe that's what I'm getting. This person may be kind of like skittish or like you notice like they're talking a lot or they're nervous around you. You may run into them unexpectedly and not... Uh, you know, not expect them to be there. The tower is some sort of breakthrough. Like they're going to finally give in and tell you how they're feeling. They're going to finally say something. What is the tower? Ace of Cups, new love. Man, someone's revealing something to you, Pisces. They're going to let their guard down and share something with you. It could be in the moment when they're drinking. I'll be honest with you. But and it could be a Capricorn or Aquarius. Maybe, maybe another Pisces like you. But... um. Cups. Someone is getting ready to reveal the truth and it's going to make you happy. You've been waiting for, maybe you don't even know this, maybe you've just been waiting for love. Or you've been waiting for someone to finally, you know, tell tell you something. I don't know. Okay, I think that's, All right, let me go to a different deck really quick here. What does Pisces need to know? I'm getting a Leo right now for some reason, maybe significant. That was way too many. Aquarius, there's long term came out. I also have a Leo. Yep, so you got a Leo coming as coming in as a partner companion with the Pisces. Yeah, I get strong Leo for somebody. I don't know if. Let's see what they would say to you. Let's see what they would say to you. What would they say to Pisces? I want you. So they're strongly attracted to you. Sometimes I stay awake thinking about you. I compare others to you. I'm starting to understand our connection and I love you unconditionally. It says I hide my feelings. Yeah. All right. I'm going to leave it there, Pisces. Have a really good week, guys.